How's it going guys? Brian here and today we're going to be looking at the top Saint Laurent jackets. Now this video is really intended for two types of people. The first are the ones that are lucky enough to be able to afford these type of designer pieces and the other are the people that love Saint Laurent as a brand, as an aesthetic and they want to see what they have to offer. So if you fall into either of these categories, then this video is definitely going to be for you. If you guys don't already know, my name is Brian and I make fashion and life coaching YouTube related content. So if looking good and leading a happier and healthier life is something you're into, be sure to subscribe. But with that, let's get straight into the video. So the first jacket on this list is going to be the Saint Laurent Teddy Jacket in Wool. Now this jacket is extremely popular, especially amongst celebrities. A lot of different celebrities from different backgrounds have worn this jacket and for good reason. This jacket is very versatile. You can wear it in a lot of different occasions, whether you're gonna be going to a basketball game or you're just gonna be having a stroll downtown LA. This jacket just goes with any occasion and can be dressed up or dressed down. And even in different type of contexts like streetwear or even menswear, the jacket just adapts so beautifully and that's one of the reasons why I want to put this jacket first on this list. Another plus when it comes to this jacket is that the resale value is insane. When we're looking at retail, this jacket costs $2,500, which obviously is a lot of money. But if you go the used route, you can find this jacket for $1,000, which for having real leather and having silk as the inner lining, that is such a solid deal. And especially because you are going to get that Saint Laurent branding. So if you want a designer jacket, but you don't want to be spending upwards of two to $3,000, then this farmer jacket is definitely a solid option. One thing to really consider though, is that this jacket does have a lot of stuffing in it. So it's not going to be something that you're going to be able to wear during the summers without having to take it off if it gets too hot. So this really is intended more for winter seasons. So that's something that you do want to keep in the back of your mind if you live in an area with a hot climate. In terms of different colors, this is another reason why I love this jacket is because I feel like it has so many good colors to choose from. Obviously, you could go with the classic black, but another color that I would recommend is the burgundy. This is my favorite one of the bunch. I think that the burgundy they got is just really beautiful and I like how it's almost a dark burgundy so it still looks dressed up. Another color that I would recommend is the green one, but there's a lot of solid options when it comes to the color that you're going to go for. So it really is just up to personal preference. Now, if you like the foundation of this jacket, but you want something a bit different, something that not everyone is going to have their hands on, then look at the Saint Laurent Teddy Bear Farmer Jacket with the Saint Laurent logo embroidered in the back. This jacket is not going to have the leather straps, which can be seen as a good thing just because it makes the jacket look a lot more minimal. But also, this isn't the jacket that a lot of people have already bought. So like I said, you're not going to be catching a lot of people wearing the same jacket as you. On top of that, you do get Saint Laurent branding on the back. So if you want to show off that what you're wearing is Saint Laurent, then you're going to get that with this jacket. The way that the print is in the back, you do get a slight tint of yellow, making it almost look like this jacket's already pre-worn in, which I think looks super good, looks super classy. And the whole thing just comes together very well. The logo is big, but it's not so bold in your face where you feel like you're kind of trying to flex or it comes off as looking tacky. I think that it's very tastefully done. So you can definitely wear this in occasions where you want to be taken seriously and you still want to look like if you're dressed up with timeless pieces. The next jacket on this list is my favorite of the bunch. And now we're going to be transitioning over to more statement pieces. And that's going to be the Saint Laurent satin officer jacket in this wine red color. This jacket is beautiful. This is the type of jacket that you can literally see in an art museum just hung up for people to admire. There's a lot of embroidery all throughout the jacket, which I like because it shows the craftsmanship that went into developing this jacket. This jacket really gives me like my chemical romance, welcome to the Black Parade. It gives me that type of marching band vibe. Now again, this is a statement piece, meaning that when you wear this jacket, you want to keep things very minimal and you want to keep things very subtle. I would pair this with black dress jeans, black leather Chelsea boots and a black shirt, and you're going to look amazing wearing this combination. However, this jacket honestly doesn't go that well when it comes to more baggy streetwear type of outfits, just because I think this jacket looks too dressed up for that kind of aesthetic. So that's something that you have to consider. It's not as versatile, but if you want a piece that everyone is going to be able to see and a piece that really looks like if you're wearing art, 
then this is the jacket for you and definitely i have my eyes set on picking up this jacket just because of how beautiful and how classic it looks now if this jacket is a bit too loud for you you could go for the saint laurent blood luster jacket this jacket has the embroidery but it's mostly focused in the back you get the print of vampire teeth with blood dripping down which is an iconic saint laurent type of branding you see this even in leather jackets use the same type of embroidery so it really says saint laurent to the people that know about saint laurent but the people that don't know about designer brands they're not going to know what it is all they're going to know is that it looks extremely bad at this is another route that you can go and with these satin jackets they're a bit lighter so you can wear them in warmer climates so if you live in warmer areas you might want to stay away from the teddy bear bomber jackets that we've seen in the beginning and gravitate more for jackets like these However, if this jacket still isn't your cup of tea, you could look for other satin jackets that have a bunch of these kind of artwork designs, like this one right here. As you can tell, these prints are something that Saint Laurent is playing with, and I think that it blends the lines between regular clothes and art, and I love it. The thing too is that because these are statement pieces, understand that some of them are just not gonna be your cup of tea, just because they're so unique and they have a lot of detail that there's more room for you to just not like a particular type of artwork that's going to be printed on them but that being said they offer a lot of different satin jackets with different designs so you can really start looking through them and see which one is going to be the best for you all right guys hopefully you liked this video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe let me know if you're going to get any of these saint laurent jackets or if you had the money which one would you actually get but other than that Thank you so much for watching, stay stylish and stay humble.